Hey guys, I'm back again. I want to do an interesting video style right now. Well, you guys are going to watch me tackle this. If you guys don't know, I already have a hair channel, but I don't upload there anymore because life and I got tired and blah blah blah, you know, with kids and homeschooling. I can't, I couldn't upkeep two channels. So I don't really do hair videos much anymore, but here's my hair. I just washed it and I let it dry for about an hour or two and I now need to do something with it. So I guess I'm just going to check while you guys watch me tackle this. <laughs> Why not, you know? <sighs> so I'm going to pin this up. I get a lot of hair questions from you guys anyway for some weird reason. <laughs> Everybody always loves my hair. It's growing back really fast from the last big chop I did in um, August of 2018, I believe. Yes, I did a big chop in August. And my hair was like mad short. Not that I really like short hair, but I was going through something and I felt like I needed a change and the old hair needed to go. So that's what I did. And I don't regret it. You know, I really don't because my hair is growing back and flourishing again. Before you know it, it'll be back at waist length. Because it's already grown up a lot. It's been two years. It doesn't even feel like it's been two years, but it has. I'm going to kind of re wet it because it didn't dry up. I'll be sitting there. Mm. Let me try to show you how long it is now. If you can see, I'm having a black shirt, so it's gonna be kind of hard for you to see. But here it is, right here. Yeah, it's right back there. It's like yeah, right at my mid back. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty long again. I can't wait for it to go to waist length again. I'm um, so just stuck for long hair. So, anyway, I wanted to talk about an experience I had on Hinge. If you watched my last Hinge video where I talked about my experience on the Hinge dating app, if you did not see that, you need to go watch it. It's um very truthful and funny and interesting um, yeah but I want to talk about this one particular experience that I had on this site so um, I actually got off hinge recently because mm, many reasons it's not the dating site itself it's just life and I just got tired of looking you know, I'm tired of looking for women right, women right now I can't find a woman and my husband he's not looking either because anyway, anybody got time for that there's so much stuff going on in the world and in our lives that we got to pay more attention to so the dating has been put on hold so I was like eh fuck it I'm tired of the dating apps anyway so yeah I got off of hinge um but anyway I'm gonna tell you something that happened while I was on hinge there was a woman I came across Probably in about uh, April, May, May maybe. Um, I came across her um, on Hinge, and you know we had pretty good conversation. We were talking a lot for like a few days. Um, she seemed to have a lot coming with me, you know. Blah blah blah. We talked for a good minute. She was in my state because. Again, Hinge doesn't um, give you people outside of your state. 
So, yeah, she was in my state, so I was thinking, you know, I could meet her one day, you know, when we can, when quarantine's over and all that jazz. So, everything was going pretty well. Um, so it seemed, like I said, we were talking for a few days. And then it's like, you know, I really like this girl. Let me, um, let me give her my number. So we exchanged numbers. We're all happy. Oh, yeah, cool, you know. Um, yeah, let's chat. She was, um, she was living with her roommate at the time. And, you know, like I said, this is like the beginning of quarantine. So no one was really going anywhere or doing anything. And she was bored. Because she wasn't wasn't working anymore, blah blah. blah. And you know me, I was just bored from being home. So we had a lot of time to talk, talk a lot. Um, I even started calling her on the phone. And y'all know that's huge because I don't call nobody. I'm looking at them girls. I don't hardly call anybody. If I call you and I talk to you on the phone, I actually talk to you, not text. I said talk. If I actually talk to you, then it means it's. Is, you know, kind of serious. You know, I really like you. I can tolerate you. We had very good conversations. We had wonderful conversations. We talked for like an hour or two and then get off. And again, that's weird for me because I don't really do that. So everything was going well. There is this one particular day we got on the topic of sex. We were texting. Um. I think her history was she was a lesbian for a long time. <laughs> she was a lesbian the majority of her life, which is already a That was already a major warning sign to me because y'all know my husband and I are looking for someone together. So if she was a lesbian, what the hell? Oh, wait a minute. But she um she said she wanted to try a man. You know, she was at a different stage in her life to where, you know, she was looking at having kids differently. And, you know, she was young and she didn't really give men a chance, per se. So I was like, okay, cool. I was giving her the benefit of the doubt because, you know, that happens to a lot of young women. Um, and I said, okay, well, we'll see how this goes. Now, of course, we were just talking as friends. We weren't trying to date yet or anything. But I noticed that she kept trying to... She wasn't really trying to talk to my husband, which is not new because that happens a lot. She kept making excuses saying, oh yeah, I'll talk to him eventually, you know, maybe I'll come and visit you guys and I'll talk to him then. Okay. I said I'll let that, I'll, um, I told her I was going to be patient and just wait on that because you know you got to give people time to do what, they want, what they're comfortable in doing. Apparently she wasn't really comfortable with talking to men yet. So I was like, okay, well, we'll do that, we'll wait. So again, me and her talking, having a great conversation, blah, blah, blah. One day we're texting each other. Somehow we got on the topic of sex, even though we haven't really talked about sex that much yet. It was too early. Um, but we started talking about sex, and um, she, she, she had always kind of hinted on some of her sexual experiences and telling me the mistakes she made and with women, blah, blah, blah. So I was just taking that in, you know, getting to know more about her and stuff. Now, and she, of course, she'd known I had not been with a woman. So I was always kind of intimidated over the fact of, look, okay, you've been with women and I haven't. And kind of want somebody who has all this experience and you know how I am with sex and all these people you don't been with. If you sleep with me, and mm, no. But anyway, I was going to just see at the time I liked her. So I was just going to let it ride and see if she would eventually talk to my husband and we all start getting along because she seemed like she had some sense. So again, we're texting to my sex and she was asking me, I think she asked me what my greatest fantasy was. So I'm like, okay, I kind of hinted on that before. I told her that I like threesomes. I like, um, M, 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 that. Well, I can't talk. M F F threesomes. Male, female, female relation. I mean, uh, threesome. 
prisms. That's what I want. That's what I desire. That's like one of my main um, kinks or fetishes, I guess. So, and of course, she was like, "Okay, cool." Um, but she wanted me to go into detail. She was like, uh, "Well, tell me what else you're into. Tell me something that's something really wild that you want to try." I'm looking at her like, "Okay," because she kind of wanted me to go into detail. But I'm like, I didn't feel it in detail because I'm like, I still don't know you that well. And I don't see the point in going into detail. So I just told her light stuff. I told her I was like, yeah, you know, one, two, three, some. Then I want to try this, and you know, I like role playing, and you know, I just told her like little light answers. I told her little light answers. Um, cause you know, again, I don't have any experience. She was asking me what's the kinkiest thing I wanted to do. And all these weird things, and I'm like, hold on, wait a minute, we're not that close yet. I'm not gonna tell you all that. I'm not gonna go into detail about what I like if I don't know you that well yet. But she was literally harping on that. And when I when I told her my bland answer, she actually got upset, y'all. The bitch got upset. She got upset. She was like. Oh, well, that's a shame. You can't even, you can't even be uh, sexy through text or something like that. Something of that sort. And I was like, wait, what do you mean be sexy through text? What do you mean? What do you mean? What are you saying? First of all, I don't know you. I'm not gonna tell you details, sexual details of what I like. And we don't know each other that well yet. We're not even dating yet. You haven't even talked to my husband yet. What the fuck? So she was, she had an attitude. I said she had an attitude over the text. And I was like, what? I told you what you wanted to hear. You asked what my fetishes was. You, you asked what I wanted to do. And this is what I'm going to give you. I'm going to give it to you in a white form. This is light stuff. We don't know each other that well yet. I'm not going to go into that much detail. I'm not going to talk to you in depth about BDSM and all this other stuff. What for? We're not dating. But y'all, she got upset. This woman got upset at me because I wasn't giving her enough detail. I wasn't being kinky enough. Yeah, that's what she said. She was like, oh, you can't even be kinky through text. You can't even uh, loosen your values or something to be kinky through text. She said something along those lines, and I'm like... Hey, what? I couldn't believe it. Now, after all the good conversation we had, we have had for a while. She gets mad at me over me not being kinky enough. Yo, that must sound like bullshit. There's some random person off a hinge that I don't even know that well. Or I don't even know for real. Been talking for like, I think it was, eh, it was the duration, but maybe like two months, two or three months. Um, but again, we weren't dating yet. <laughs> there was no dating. She wasn't ready. Now she claimed she she kind of wanted to try a poly thing with a with a man, but I was waiting on her to step it up. I was waiting for her to say that she finally wanted to. She was finally ready to you know meet my husband. I was waiting for her to say she was finally ready, and my, me and my husband both knew that she wasn't really gonna meet him. We kind of just had that in the back of our heads, so like, yeah, she ain't the one. She's a former lesbian. She says she wants to try a man. Nah. Mm -mm. She she ain't ready. <laughs> and even so, he might not be the type of man she's looking for anyway, based on what she, the way she was talking and the way I was getting to know her now. Um, but yeah, that text, she clearly got offended because I wasn't being kinky enough. I wasn't turning her on. I wasn't being open enough. And I'm like, I don't want to be open with you like that. We're not even dating. And I was, I just come out of that other relationship. The other video I made for y'all called, um, I Feel for a Married Woman. Remember that? Remember that video I did a few weeks, I mean, yeah, a few months ago, I think. Um, where I feel for a married woman. I had just come out of that relationship, y'all. I was just coming out of that. Trying to get to know this woman. You know, kind of in the middle of that. 
So me, I'm looking, I'm looking at this other one, I'm like, I need to kind of take my time because my husband and I, we just went through this big blow where I was being delusional, trying to date a married woman, and then I meet this next woman, and it's like, okay, I need to take my time. I need to not rush into anything because I'm damaging my husband, I'm scaring him, that I want to walk away. And, you know, all the, all the drama we went through this year, you know? And then this one will come along and say I'm not being kinky enough. Yo, I was so annoyed. <laughs> I said, you know what? I'm... Wait. No, I did respond. I think I did respond. I said something nasty back. <laughs> Yo, and I do believe she deserved it. Because that was just ridiculous. I do believe she deserved what I told her. I don't even remember what I told her, but it was something nasty. I, I just told her what I told y'all. I'm like, we don't know each other well enough. I'm not going to go into detail telling you something that I don't feel comfortable talking to you about yet. We're not dating. I mean, what? I told you what you wanted to hear. I told you the best of my ability what you wanted to hear. I'm not going no further than that. Come on. If you want, you go to Pornhub or something. Like, I'm not here to come around. I'm not going to But y'all, she got offended. She, she got really offended. Like I said, I blasted her, and then I got rid of her. I got rid of her number. Deleted it immediately on my phone. And that was that. Never heard of her again. I went in Hinge. I blocked her in Hinge. And that was it. That was it, y'all. Blocked her on, uh, I think she was on, on my, I think I had her on my Instagram. Yeah, I did. And wherever else she was. She had to go, y'all, because, y'all, I'm not that stupid. Oh, my hair looks nice. Look at that. Mm. Poof. But yeah, you know, I'm not stupid. I'm not. She actually was acting like I was supposed to act be a slut towards her or something. I don't know. I don't know what the hell she was asking for, but you know, I ain't got time. I don't have time. It did not take me any time. To look at that, respond, and walk away. Again, I lost. I've lost so many women for different reasons. I've lost so many people regarding just a lot of things that that shit don't hardly phase me anymore. Yeah, she seemed cool. Yeah, we had great conversations about what we wanted in life and all that. But in the end of it all, she got all snarky because I wasn't kinky enough. And I'm not kinky enough. I'm not experienced enough. Of course I'm experienced enough. I told you I hadn't been with a woman. What the fuck? What are, you, what are you looking for? I mean, really, what are you looking for? So, <sighs> yeah, that's the story of that. That's the story of a hinge experience. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, I got off hinge. Not because of her, but like I said, because of life reasons. I ain't really looking for no one right now. If, one, if a woman comes along and she's finally serious, finally, um, then we'll see then. But for right now, you know, I ain't stunt nobody because I don't have time. I have kids to raise and teach and I've got other goals that I'm trying to focus on as far as myself. I've got other things to do, other business ideas, you know, all that other jazz. I gotta focus on my marriage. I can't be fooling around with people who want me to be a slut. Like, come on, she knew my story. She even knew I'd been abused. She knew my story, she knew I had a man. She knew I hadn't been with a woman. And that was that. So, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Again, if you're horny, go watch some lesbian porn. Like, sheesh. So, yeah. As you can see, y'all, I don't take the bullshit. You know, I'm not, I'm not a weak person. I am not a weak person, not the way I used to be. Um. So yeah, she's blocked, gone, and I have not had another experience like that since, and I don't plan to. I don't plan to have another experience like that. You know, so you, the types of people I met this year were just ridiculous. <sighs> the type of situations I put myself in. Ridiculous. Um, these are people I've never met. So, yeah. 
so yeah, never again. That phone for a married woman situation, never again. That was truly a test, and I knew it was a test. It was truly a test. Because the universe was trying to see if I was really gonna be naive and walk away from my husband over a married woman who's promising me all kind of stuff. Nope. That ain't gonna happen. So yeah. That's the story of that. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the little story time. My hair is almost done. I'm gonna try to leave these twisting for the rest of the week like I did yet um, last week because I ain't going nowhere. So Ooh, these twists are bomb, y'all. So soft and juicy. Look at that. Boing. like that a situation where someone's, tell someone's telling you that you're not sexual enough you're not kinky enough and you barely even know them <laughs> you don't even know this person like that has that ever happened to you let me know in the comments what did you do how did you respond <laughs> did you fall for it did you think the, pe the person was losing the wrong reason I'm just curious. Let me know your experiences. Because, of course, as we know, black people are so hard up on sex. It's as if they can't think about anything else. It's as if they can't talk about anything else. It's as if nothing else matters. Nothing else matters to them but their sexual integrity. And it's bad, y'all. We gotta do better. We've got to do better as far as just focusing on our sexuality and our sexual integrity and our sexual performance and our sexual liberation none of that really matters you know come on none of that really matters how you can judge a person by how kinky they talk to you and how much experience they have how much sexual experience they have I mean if you're really thinking it thinking you want somebody with less experience because sex is supposed to be sacred. If you get with somebody who's had sex with multiple people, that's just fucking gross. That says a lot about you. Like, come on, you don't want to get with someone who's had like 10 partners. That's crazy. You don't want that. People think they want that, but they think it's cool. Society says it's cool to get with someone who laid and slept, slayed and slept around. Yo, this should be cool. Don't even fall for it. <laughs> Fuck society in that. <sighs> okay, my hair is done. Yay. My twists are done, they're nice and luscious. And ready for the week. Sometimes I walk around the house with a style like this. Yeah. But again, I ain't going nowhere, so... I'm just gonna throw, throw a hair cap on this before I go to sleep tonight. And it's gonna be it. Yay, they're all done. Nice and juicy. So, yeah. That's my little story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um... Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Let me know if you like these type of videos or a get ready with me type of thing. Uh, let me know what I might try to do more. And that's just about it. I hope you guys are having a great day, second hour, month, minute, and week. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Peace out.